Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for Valentine's Day. Don't you know it's like a month away? And it's never too early for Valentine's Day. Maybe just wait till February. Centennial. I'm Carly. Welcome to our first episode of The Loft. Welcome to The Loft. Season 3 of The Loft. The first episode of The Loft. Season 5 of The Loft. Season 6 of The Loft. Enjoy Season 7, Episode 1 of The Loft. Welcome to your first episode of The Loft of this school year. Hey, hey, Beekner, you beautiful haired man. Hey, I was in a restaurant the other day and somebody yelled, does anybody know CPR? And I stood up and I said, I know CPR and all the other letters of the alphabet. Everybody laughed. Well, everybody except for this one guy. Oh, hey, Manny. Happy 23rd birthday <clears throat> again. What is a four letter word for caper? Copper? Copper. Five letter word for caper. Antic. Do you know how NASA is able to throw such an awesome party? They just have to plan it. <laughs> I got them. Hey, do you know how pickles celebrate their birthday? They relish every moment. 
my wife told me I needed to stop being so immature. And I asked her, how'd you even get into my pillow fort? Okay, that's funny. That's really funny. You know where bad rainbows go? To prism. It's only a light sentence though. Man, have you heard about this new law that you're supposed to put on your headlights, turn on your headlights when it's raining in Sweden? How am I supposed to know what's going on in Sweden? <laughs> Why do candles love birthdays so much? They just want to get lit. Get out. What's up Centennial and welcome back to Flying Facts with Delta Mike. On February 11, 2000, JetBlue Airways started their first flight from New York John F. Kennedy Airport in Queens, New York to Fort Lauderdale Airport in Florida. JetBlue was founded by aviation entrepreneur David Nealman, who was also the founder of Breeze Airways as well as Azul Airways in Brazil. What made JetBlue unique was that when they first started, they were one of the few airlines to offer TV screens across the board. Now by 2024 standards, these 5-inch TV screens are outdated, but have been replaced since. In 2005, JetBlue started flying the Embraer 190. These aircraft are a huge asset to the airline as it allows them to fly to smaller destinations with less demand, as well as fly busy shuttle routes like DC to Boston. I still remember visiting the cockpit of an Embraer 190 as a young kid. It was a very cool experience along with First Officer Scott. In 2014, JetBlue revolutionized the transcontinental business class market by introducing Mint on the Airbus A321 aircraft. Mint completely revolutionized the business class market transcontinental-wise as it reduced airfares. And today, JetBlue now even flies overseas with them on the A321neo aircraft. But that does not mean that non-Mint aircraft are being skipped out on JetBlue's part. In 2021, JetBlue started flying the Airbus A220 in order to replace the Embraer 190s as they are getting older. JetBlue is pretty much a classic example of an airline that never gives up. When they first started, the competitors did not like them as it increased competition. However, they fought through it and are now one of the biggest airlines in the U.S. airline market. What are you doing? What do you mean what I'm doing? I'm playing Burger Town. What do you mean I only got three stars? The lettuce. Some hot sauce. Oh. Oh, dang. Beep. 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 Oh, the hot sauce is $6? Whatever. Beep. Oh, let's go. Finally, I can play the game again. My name is Joanna Miller. Um, a lot of people here know me as Mama Miller, but I am best known as Coach Miller's wife. The best part about being here is just being around the student athletes that I've already built relationships with since my husband is the head football coach and meeting new kids, other teachers. It's just been awesome. I started wanting to work at Centennial because of the community here. It's just so loving. They just wrap their arms around you and um, I wanted to be a part of that. My bucket list includes, I want to go see the Dallas Cowboys at the Star and watch them play. My favorite things to do outside of school are to go visit new places, um, explore new areas that we haven't seen yet, eat at new restaurants, just be with my husband and my kids. A recent memory I have of Centennial is um, my first day at work. I was walking down the hall and a teacher asked me where my pass was and told me I need to go back to class. And I had to tell her who I was. <laughs> so, yeah. Can you go to the center stand? Yay! 
Your bird of the week is the American woodcock. He's young, truly humble under God. At a low point, we were at Back, not again with the weather. Uh, our rap careers didn't really uh, pop off like we thought. Mm -mm. Like, um, but so anyway, we're just, yeah, we're here now. Starting with Friday. The low's going to be 57. The high's going to be 65. There's a 50% chance of rain in the morning. And with Saturday, we have a low of 52 and a high of 63 with 40% chance of rain mm -hmm. later. Cloudy all week. Cloudy. All weekend. Cloudy so. all week. Cloud nine all week. Expect to stay indoors and enjoy yeah, yourself. bring an umbrella. Um, and now we're going to cut to our outside person. This Sunday, there will be a low of 42 and a high of 57. It'll also be very cloudy the whole weekend. Speaking of clouds. Yo. If you really think about it, all your bones are wet. Yeah. Anything can be a mushroom pizza if you just wait long enough. Yo, you spend your whole life gathering people to attend your funeral. I'm froze for 10 billion years, we would have no idea. Yo, tow trucks in the Cars movie can just kidnap anybody. Absolutely overrated. I've only had one good experience at Arby's. Underrated. I think Arby's has some really good options on their menu uh, and the best milkshakes ever. Overrated would be one of the last places I would choose to go. Oh, Arby's. Underrated. That cheese that's absolutely fake and probably causes cancer on top of that roast beef is amazing. Overrated. Roast beef is gross. Overrated, but I will say the curly fries that they usually have were amazing. Other than that, I mean, this is obviously is overrated. Underrated. Beef and cheddar, one of the best fast food meals to get. Overrated. I mean, it's just an oversized gas station. Never been there, so I'm going to say that it uh, may be a bit overrated. It's a gas station. Uh, underrated. Just went to one of those for the first time probably a year ago. I was impressed. There's nothing like it. Bucky's. Okay, I'm gonna say Bucky's is it's overrated. However, I don't know if this is true. I've heard that the bathroom manager at Bucky's makes over a hundred thousand dollars. This is a tough one um, because so many great things with Bucky's, but I will say all the stuff in there. Who's actually buying all that stuff? I would say overrated. Ooh, that's tough. Uh, I think it depends on what you're going to Bucky's for. I'm gonna go overrated because I just went for gas. Absolutely underrated, because remember, to be early is to be on time. Underrated. Uh, being in class on time is very important, or else you miss out on things that are being said. Underrated. You guys got to get to class on time. <laughs> we don't want to chase you in the halls. Okay, come on now. You can't ask me about tardies and know that I'm going to say anything except underrated. We are on you for tardies. <sighs> Well, I got to be careful with this one. Um, underrated, period. Absolutely underrated. I mean, who wouldn't want to go to another school dance? And who wouldn't want to have our young ladies ask our gentlemen? Well, I'm going to say that that one may be a little underrated. Um, it's a great opportunity for us to raise some money for the school. So I think everybody should try to participate. Uh, underrated. I think people think it's maybe silly, but I think it's just a fun thing to do. Sadie dance. I mean, come on. Underrated. Hottest thing that you can be doing on a Saturday night. Underrated. Everybody should go to the Sadie's dance. 
I've never experienced a Sadie Hawkins dance, so this would be my first time experiencing that, um, at least seeing the students be a part of it. So I absolutely have to say underrated in this case. Absolutely overrated. I believe that there should be no phones in class. I stand on that. I believe in that. I breathe that. And you're lucky you don't take my class as a teacher. Overrated. You need to put them up, period. Overrated. You do not need a phone in your hand every second of the day. Phones in class, come on. Overrated. I mean, let's unplug our face from the phone. Overrated. <sighs> Overrated. No comment. Good morning, Centennial. I'm Camilla Gomez, and today I'm here with... Uh, coach Balski, uh, varsity boys soccer coach. All right. So, Coach Balski, tell me about the team. How is it looking so far? I tell you what, so far we are looking very, very well. We practice every morning from 6 in the morning, 7.30. The boys love it. Um, they work hard. They come with a just an attitude to get better. Um, you know, in this year, we've seen a lot more maturity in a lot of our players, which we absolutely love. We have players just wanting to take charge and be a leader. So... It's good to see. No, oh, that's good. Um, what are you most excited about this season? I'm most excited just to see how the players do. I mean, how they respond, um, respond to losses, respond to wins. Um, just, you know, academically, how they do in school, we check that. Attendance, just to, again, just to see the maturity in the boys, you know, from when they were freshmen. Nice. Most excited. Um, what potential do you see in the team this year? I mean, this, this team can go very, very far. Very talented group, um, like we've talked. Um, you know, we're going to try to win. Well, we're going to win region games, right? We're going to win them all. And then uh, hopefully get into the state tournament and go from there. But this team has a, just a tremendous amount of talent and positive attitude and maturity, okay. which is going to take us a long way. Yeah, sounds good. And what's the goal that you have for the end of the season? Uh, our, goal, our goal is to win state. However, we got to do the simple things to win state. Yes. You know, like win our region games, win, get into the state tournament. So we're going to play each game like, like it's our last game and then just get better yeah. and, and work on our, what we need to work on. All right. Thank you, Coach Polsky. Thank you. Your number of the week is 27. That's how many years Centennial has been open for. Hey Centennial, it's Jordan G, Cammie C, and Jules. And today we're here to tell you about Centennial's first ever Sadie, Sadie Hawkins dance. The Sadie dance is inspired by Sadie Hawkins from the 50s who pioneered the gender reversal tradition. This means the girls ask the guys. The dance is February 10th, 7 to 10 p.m. in the auxiliary gym. The theme is medieval knights. Scan this QR code, tickets are now $20 and you don't want to miss out on this first historic Sadie Hawkins dance. Go, Go Knights! knights. Morning. I'm your host Kate and I'm Kate and, and wel welcome to your weekly update two days ago Japan landed on the moon for a country so well known for the advanced technology this is pretty late this week on sentence most talked about topics the Sadie Hawkins dance which is apparently happening very soon and also a new thing for Centennial so lots are excited about it ladies get to making those posters and asking her voice in other news, a man crashed into a power pole and ran away after a chase. Sandy Springs police say... So did they catch him? Nah. Coachella has finally released the light-up for the infamous music festival in April. I am so excited to see Lana Del Rey perform. I am excited to see how it's name me good. Name me good. You're not even going. You aren't either. Says who? And that's it for this week. Thank you and good morning. Hello? Hello, is this Barbara? No. Nancy? No. Karen? Yes, this is her. Hey Karen, I'm calling because your bank statement is saying that you're spending a lot of money overseas. Oh my goodness, that was not me. I 
me need my money back. Are you able to help me? Yes, ma'am. I'm going to need the last four digits of your social security number to confirm your account. Okay, one minute. I'm going to come find it. Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. Ma'am, ma'am, no. Ma ma I just need the last, the last four digits for you. Ma'am, ma'am. So, what do you think about the dance that's coming up, guys? Oh, I asked the guy with curly hair. Mm -hmm. I asked that guy that plays my house. Oh, I asked the guy that does wrestling. Are y'all, like, excited for it or what? No. Why not? I have a feeling he's going with other girls. That's what I'm saying. Why? Y'all just literally defined who I asked. <laughs> <laughs> Now you wouldn't think it, but I get a lot of fan requests to review albums. So this week I decided that instead of going in depth and reviewing one album, I'm going to take a surface look at three albums that have been most requested to me. The first album we're going to be talking about is Leonard Skinner's debut album, pronounced Leonard Skinner. I'm not really a big fan of Leonard Skinner. I don't really like more country sounding music, but I do think that they have talent that needs to be recognized. And I think that in the 70s, they were really good for what they did. This is probably what I would call their best album. My favorite song from it would be Freebird. My least favorite would be Simple Man. And I would rate it about a six out of 10. The second album we're going to be looking at is the Kanye West album, The College Dropout. This was his debut back in 2004. Now Kanye West has changed as an artist over the last 20 years in a way where it's kind of hard to compare his newer stuff to any of his older stuff. But even with that, I would say that this is the best old Kanye album. It's really good. I'd rate it a 9 out of 10. My favorite song from it would be All Falls Down and my least favorite would be Slow Jams. Our third and final album for this week, The Beatles, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Band. The Beatles are obviously one of the biggest bands on the planet who have ever existed, and they've made a lot of music. Like most artists, there's this really interesting point where they kind of switched up between their old style and what they ended up doing, and I feel like in their last few years as a band, they made their best work together. And this is kind of at that point where they're on the prefaces of getting to that point where they're really good, but they're just not quite there yet. I would rate Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Band a seven out of 10. My favorite song from it would be With a Little Help From My Friends, and my least favorite song from it would be She's Leaving Home. Your color of the week is light blue. I'm Yash. I'm Kaylee. I'm Slim Shady. And you're watching CSPN. Your Centennial Knights basketball team has an away game tonight at GAC at 7.30. Be there to support your Knights. Last week, your Centennial wrestling team had a match against Kell. Make sure to come out and support at the next one. Centennial has six upcoming sports, golf, tennis, track, lacrosse, baseball, and soccer. Be sure to come out and show your support. All right, good work. Let's get it. Nice on three, six, one, two, three. Nice. Four, five, six, oh, yes, Sinead! Yeah. Straight up. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to him. Straight up clamps. First, first live action of the day. Come out with the dub. I really never lose a practice, if you want me to be honest. <laughs> Got him! Chicken. That's chicken.
Right. You okay? Yeah. No, right. She, she, she. She graduated. Then my older one, like. Oh! Here. Oh, my ball, ball boy. Uh, make or miss, steal or rebound. Blue, we're taking off down this way, and you have a chance to score. Can we get points for a steal too, or are we just on offense? Uh, like when y'all get yeah. back on defense, yeah. y'all can get defense. All right. Oh, yo! Hey, take Aiden! Help! Help! Gap! You by yourself! Gap! Gap! Hand up, hand up! Ball! Pop, yeah. Come down low. We both went up. Just make sure we're like. Be just, more yeah, just talk through it. Talk through it. Talk through it. Right. Let's get stop. <laughs> I'm help. I'm help. I'm help. Mm -hmm. Top tier speed. Part, part two coming tomorrow on my segment. You feel me?